good morning it is monday which is not my favorite it's cold out today it's below freezing but it's not windy and that's important because today we're going to put up that hoop house we already pre-assembled some of the frame so i'm going to rent the lift this morning and then we're going to work on that the goal today is to get the whole thing up and covered uh, minus the end wall we'll probably put up the end wall tomorrow morning uh, this comes in good timing because tomorrow, right away, uh, we're expected our first accumulating snowfall. So we got a bunch of stuff to do, but first I need to take this garbage out. I'll see you guys at the coffee shop. How much garbage do we make? I have no idea where Annie is this morning. I checked all of her usual spots, and she is definitely avoiding work. We are overflowing with garbage. It's Monday, so it's pickup day. Garbage man. Our recycle is always overflowing too. We always have plenty of boxes and plastic every week. Morning, Jessica. How are you? Good. Good. Looks like you guys are struggling to keep up today. <laughs> There's a lot going on. Yeah, it seems like it. There's stuff everywhere. <laughs> Perfect. Thank, Thank you. you very much. See you next time. Thank you. Okay. Morning, Missy. Good morning. Have a good day. Okay. All right. I am just pulling into United Rentals. Hopefully, they have a lift available for us to use. I don't really see a lot of equipment. There's some on the other side. They usually have a lot more equipment out here. Hopefully they have something available because that's going to throw a wrench into things if I can't get a lift. Okay, can you see if you have any man lifts available for rent? Yeah. How are you? Good, how are you? Good to see you. Yeah, good to see you. Are you using it at that address in Burnfield? What's that? Am I going to be Sure, why not? <laughs> All right, so they had a scissors lift. That's what we'll use. A boom lift would have been nicer, of course, but I'm glad to have anything. Last time I did this, we stood in a skid loader bucket, and uh, it was not safe at all. And we actually got in trouble for doing that because somebody saw us doing that, and obviously it was a safety violation. So nobody would see us over there, but I still don't want to fall. <laughs> not today. All right, I am pulling into the yard. It is 7.20. Start time for everyone is 7.30 today. Let's see if anybody's here yet. It looks like no, not yet. So whoever shows up first, I'll take them over and pick up the lift. Oh, Bugs is here. Never mind. Bugs is here. I think Eric, Eric has my little skid loader. He dropped off all of his stuff off of his trailer, it looks like. Hopefully he brings it back today because we need it tomorrow if it snows. He's going to have to bring it back today whether he likes it or not. All right, I just pulled in and now my phone's ringing. It'll probably be Daryl saying he's late. Yeah, Daryl. Morning, ready for the lift? Yep. I have to get off the freeway. I'm just a couple minutes late. Morning, Jade. Morning, Bugs. Dress warm today. I know better. <laughs> At least it ain't windy. That ain't bad. No. Yeah. Are you okay, Eric? Yeah, I'm fine. How are you? Good. I got your Christmas present, but I'm gonna give it to you later. All right. Not not today, maybe tomorrow. Not my own skid steer. No. <laughs> no. Where's my skid loader? It's in, the, it's in the back of the job. Hey, have you seen the instructions for the building? Uh-uh. Is that in the truck? Not here? I haven't seen it yet. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Uh, it'll be fun. We're going to be guessing every little thing. Oh, it didn't go there. <laughs>
I honestly don't know where the instructions went, which will be a problem. These are the end panel instructions. Morning, Francisco. I can't find the instructions. I hope they didn't get thrown away when we were cleaning all the trucks and everything. That's not good. Are they in one of those boxes? So somebody threw away the instruction manual. That was smart. I've been looking all over for it. They're like, we don't need this. Well, you, didn't you get him to Darryl, Darryl, probably you gave like, Junior on so Friday at the table. Oh yeah. Oh I did? Oh yeah. Junior threw him in the garbage. He's like Psst. He's like, ah, they'll figure it out. <laughs> I was looking at all everywhere. I was like, come on. I mean I kinda of know how it goes, but the instructions are nice to have. Exactly. So what are we doing? Uh, well, we got to go get the lift. Okay. I need to take one of those guys down the street to get the lift. Oh, I thought Daryl was picking it up. No, Daryl's just late. Oh, well, that's normal. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. 7.30, he still can't get oh, here. It doesn't matter what time we start, he's always late. Yep. You know, Saturday when we went to lunch uh, over late. there? Late. late. Got my shed all done, man. You did? Got my compressor hooked up. Yeah? Ran all new wiring. That's good. It's all cleaned out. I'm ready. I'm ready. It's set. Uh, works good. That little heater works good with the thermostat. Yeah. It holds heat very really good, man. Jade, hush. You see the forecast for tomorrow? Yeah, Wet. snow. Snow. <laughs> and Wednesday, too? Snow. One to three inches, yeah. yeah. Snow. I hope it don't stick. If it snows during the day, I don't think it'll stick to the pavement. Uh, it won't. Stick. I'll just take it to the end of the parking lot. You gotta show me how to use it because okay. I'm not familiar That's with it anyway. I'll meet you with it. Uh, here's my keys. You want me to be behind you? No, it doesn't matter. Yeah. You want to show me how to use it right quick? I'm just going to grab the skid loader with the forks and just carry it. It'll be a lot faster. That thing is so slow. I'm abandoning that idea. It's just too heavy for the skid loader. It's gonna be faster just driving the thing. Huh? It, it skits here is not handling this thing right. Morning. Morning. I figured I'd have to trip on it up for a little bit. What? I figured I'd have to do a little trip on it up for a little bit. Why is that? Because it's so cold right now. And they're talking one to three inches before it's going to be snow. Oh, we're not using a truck today. They know, but I want to at least go to trip better. Oh, because you want a warm place to sleep. No, that's not why. Yes, it is. It is. It, right, Eric? Yes, sir. I got to get up right next to the wall. That, that's what I'm trying to tell you, Daryl. We got to do something with the salt. All right, we're just laying out on top of the wall here. What? Uh, no. Oh, man. Now we gotta set our first end wall and brace it. So it's gotta go right, the center is the X. I think we should do one, uh, I think we should do one. I agree, just to hold it. Yeah. I agree, does that go to the outside? It goes center. Center, okay. Yeah. 
You know, I think the best way to plumb it is just go on a lift and hang a string. I, with, I would say. With yeah. a bolt or something hanging off. Don't you think? I would say. Because how else are you going to plumb it? You can't put a level on this. Right, right. Did it tighten? Yeah. Is it good? Yeah. Because it says you use a half inch for the tighten. half inch, so. Yeah, I'm going to move this truck. All right, we're going to hang a string from the top of that to get it plumb, and then we're going to try to brace it somehow. Oh. This thing good? No. Oh, look at that, Eric. It's not that sturdy. They're not? Oh. Yeah. yeah, look at this. This thing is not sturdy, man. Look at this, Daryl. What's a harness gonna do? Hold you to it while you die? At least we got our bonus. I don't like working at heights. We don't have an actual plumb bob, but we'll make it work. All right, let's figure out what we're gonna do to brace it. No, you got to brace it now. All right. So I don't have to just round it? Wrap myself with a... No. He wants me to put a big ratchet strap around myself. <laughs> yeah, I'll tie it around my neck. Do it or what? Tie it around my neck. Yeah, right. Yeah. All right, so we're putting a second one on now, the hardware. That's just a hair under center over there, Ryan. Like it's gotta go that way? A hair, a quarter inch. Those go to the inside, or they would have to for the canvas. That's yeah. center of pipes? Yep. Move them, move them, move them. We're going back. You don't want to check if they're lever? Yep, this is why we're not builders. <laughs> if we tried to build a house, we'd be there for six six years. <laughs> the wood's rotted before we get the roof on. Look at him. He got his soda and everything. I know. He's on his leaner. He got the ladder just for the leaner. Just make sure it's a half inch above the bolt. Yes, sir. No, you don't have to tighten that yet. That's for later when we put a gusset. Don't leave your garbage on the ground like that. 
Oh, we literally picked up the other day. Pick it up and put it in the garbage. Oh, well. Thank you. All right, it's going good. We're about halfway, right? Yeah, we're about halfway. Yeah. Bye, Junior. Bye. See you later. Yeah. Easy after life. We got two more to put up and then we got to do the tarp and then we got to build the end wall. There's still a lot of hardware to put on here. There's, we got to put pipes. There's two more sets of pipes, one on each side of that center. So you got to do that all the way. So that's going to take a while. And then there's screws. You got to put self tappers at every joint where the two pipes slide together on the entire structure. So there's a lot. A lot of hardware. A lot. But it's going good. It's going up nice. Alright, I'm going to start putting self tappers in all the joints now. We'll get that done. Bugs went and ran and got a... Bugs had to run and get a bolt that we're missing from the kit. We we're missing one bolt. I hope we're not missing any clamps. It's going to be close. So all of these joints here, get a self-tapper. This has got to go, this has got to go here. Okay. So we got to slide this in. This has got to go here. We'll take so this take this off okay. and slide this on first. And then same thing on this side. All right, we're on to the last one. They only want a half inch past okay. this. Yep, I understand. And then same thing on that side, and I'll do the top. John Eric, you're gonna die. Now it's basically a repeat process that we, that I did for the center down this side and one down that side. And then after that, there's a whole bunch of screws they want you to put in all the clamps. And then there's some diagonal braces on all four corners and then the cover. And that's it. Very, very easy. Now, they, now you got to put self tappers into each one of these, both sides, and then they want you to put duct tape over this whole thing here because it's kind of a sharp edge. All the joints got to be duct taped and two more self tappers all the way through. It's a lot of work, to be honest with you. They said you gotta duct tape all this because it's not strong enough with just the bolts. I was wondering about the duct tape. All left, right. Left, oh. All left, right. Oh. How'd that feel? Good. Alright, that's it for up here. This stuff is all done. All done according to the instructions by the book. So, should hold together. Bugs is just using self tappers to put all the, the ratchets on and now we're getting ready to pull the tarp over, ratchet it down tight and that's all we're going to do today. 
there's an end wall in the back. We're not going to get that done today, unfortunately, but we'll work on it next time we get some decent weather. This is facing the wrong direction. This, right. this has got to go this way. The pipe pocket is here. This is the pipe pocket. This is this is the skirt that goes here. That's what I thought. Here's the, oh, that's the pipe pocket. I had to have bugs run and get another rope. Is that is the only one I have and you gotta have one on each side. And then two guys over here will slowly start pulling it up. You gotta get, stop, 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 stop. You gotta stay down low because you're making a bend in the pipe and you're making it harder. There you go. All right, start pulling slowly, slowly. Hold it slower. Trying to keep it centered. See, this side looks pretty cold. This side looks pretty cold. Just start tightening it, it'll be alright. Ready? Keep going. I mean if it gets real tight, stop. Does it feel real tight? Alright, leave it then. So now all you do is you slit on both sides of this pocket put your strap around the pipe that's in here and then bring it down and ratchet it down and that's it pretty simple I'm gonna do the center first and work my way out strap nice and tight this thing is super solid it's not going anywhere I don't know we got to figure that out because we got to do that first thing in the morning and then take the lift back yeah. all right so tomorrow we're gonna build this end wall and if I get ambitious at some point this is a conduit and this goes all the way to the shed so I can run power and my security cameras also through here so I can put an elbow on there, poke it through the end wall, and have a light in here. But honestly, I doubt I'll do that this year. Just being realistic. Right, Daryl? That's right. This tire's been the fan. I heard you guys pilot expert. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you know how to do that? Yes, sir, I do. Do you really? Look at uh, right here. Come over here. So we don't have a door, obviously. No? No. Then why is it that? Why is it over here? Or, uh, it says somewhere. What is this? A couple things. A couple things? It looks yeah. like it's about 10 things. This is a list of views. Hey, look at look at number one. What do yep. you think number? Items it. for the winter. What's number one? Strobe, Strobe lights. Light. Two-way radio. Two-way radios. Spray oil. Spray oil. 
Bag of basic tools, spare part. Look at look at number one, strobe oh, lights. Oh, because he went inside. He went inside. He went inside. Yeah, he in was office. inside in the office. Oh, inspecting. you were in the office oh, all day. Inspecting gotcha. all the little tools we got. And... Spare tires. Oh, <laughs> what the? Man, you're uh, getting you're getting ready for a blizzard. Uh, I think you don't do long. Adios, adios. How much garbage do we make? Good work. All right, it is snowing. Nothing on the pavement yet. Just starting to stick to the cars. A little bit in the grass, but it is supposed to snow all day long today. And even at night, once the sun goes down tonight and it cools off, the temperature's gonna drop, it'll probably stick, but we'll see. Morning, Natalie. Good morning. Jessica's at the coffee bar. Jessica? Jessica is, and yeah. she's switching from a coffee bar to the front. So you're telling me to cut her a little slack? Yeah. Okay, I will. Morning, Jessica. Morning, morning. Good. I heard you're running from the register to the coffee shop now. I am all over the place. Good morning. Good morning. You're all set. Thank you. You're welcome. We'll see you next time. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Morning, Christine. Good. All right, I'm just pulling into the yard. It's a little bit before 7. The guys aren't due here until 7.30. So I'm going to have a little bit of time. <clears throat> we put up this hoop house yesterday, and that went really good. We didn't get to the end wall. It took us all day to install that. There is a lot, and I mean a lot of hardware that gets installed on those. I don't even know how many hundreds of self tappers I put in that thing. And then concrete anchors, uh, it, it took a while. It took us all day till, I think we started at about 8.30 and we went till about 4.30 before we were completely done. But it turned out real good, happy with it. That's the second one I built. I built one like 15 years ago, maybe a little longer than that. Oh, somebody's calling me already, Eric. Hello. Hey, what you for working today? Of course we're working today. Okay. Where are you at? Just woke up. Oh, come on. All right. Daryl Jr. just texted me. Actually, he messaged me. We'll be a little late. My dad just got up. Man, start time is 7.30. I mean, it's late, and they still can't get here on time. Hello. Hey. Are you working? Yes, we're working. Oh, okay. Where are you? I just woke up. I thought we were going to the rain outside. Come on, man. If I don't call or text, you guys know you got to be to work. Come on now. I'm thinking about just using tap cons on this. They say you need the big concrete anchors. And maybe I should, but uh, I don't know. I think if I put a bunch of tap cons, it would probably be perfectly fine. Daryl's the first one here, 742. Where have you been? I just be late. Right. No, why are you late? Oh, because they had their street closed out. I don't need you working in here right now. No. I'm going to have you start moving the other stuff out of here or out of the corner so we can get the salt. You got to fix the salter that you smashed last year. I had smashed the salter last year. Oh, you did it? No. You got a short memory. It wasn't that long ago. Come on. All right, you want all that stuff out? Yeah, we got we to gotta get ready for snow. It's snowing out. No, everybody called me and said I just woke up. Oh, no goodness. Well, you guys were late too. Now I gotta run the hammer drill through and then tap calm down.
right, I gotta run back to my house. I left the instructions for the end wall there. And uh, the road is covered with snow. It's even sticking on the asphalt. So pretty good chance we're gonna be working later, shoveling and plowing, at least salting. The guys ran to pick up the S750. So I think they are they're back and they're gonna change the tires from the construction tires to the winter tires. I had the dealer service this machine too. So it should be 100% ready to go, except for the tires. I guess the lift problem that we were having, it was a linkage. So that was really good news. So they redid the pedal linkage, I guess. And it's lifted fine. Daryl! Yeah, drive it in. Mount too, it's easy to hook up. How will it work? Perfect. Westerns are good plows, man. I've had westerns for a long time, never had any problems with them. As long as you take care of them, they just work. Boss are good too. Honestly, it's the same thing. Like I say all the time, all the main all the major manufacturers make good stuff. They're all just a little bit different. All right, I'm kind of going back and forth. I'm not really making any progress over here yet, but I'm working on it. I'm working on it. I kind of need to get this done today because I got to get the lift return. Three guys to do this. I usually do it by myself. <laughs> Oh guys, no way. Why are you gonna stop? Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. Thank you, Ryan. Yeah, no problem. Alright, so I'm gonna go start hanging these studs, I guess you call them. Gotta use a band clamp up there at each location. And then I'm gonna hang one post down and just let it hang. And then we'll connect another piece, cut it to length and then put it in and secure it at the bottom. Great. Thanks, it's getting there. So these two are done. I gotta add to the bottom of those over there, connect those to the, to the base. And then a couple other things before it's ready for the tarp. Daryl just loaded up and took the small skits through the S130 down. He's going to come back and he's going to load up the plows and then eventually load up that skid steer. Got the back wall mostly up now. Pretty much ready to put the tarp on. I got to wait for Daryl. It's going to be a wrestling match for sure, putting the tarp up there. It's not going to be fun, but we'll get it. We're gonna be wrestling with this thing. Yeah, all right. Oh, we are. It's gonna be bad. Undo that, we're gonna slide into the pocket, and then we're gonna push this and lean it against that post, and then take all the extra material and push it on this side so it's out, and then I'll have, be able to take the lift and then come up and then try to grab it and put it back and reconnect it right there.
just on the other side. Okay. You know what? what? It's upside down. It's upside down. <laughs> This is the bottom oh. where you screw through where it's thicker. Oh. <laughs> I, I knew we were gonna mess it up. Man, well now we gotta practice how to... <laughs> wow. It's all your fault. It is. <laughs> I know it is. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> we did get it up there pretty good. Now I just got to take it down and do it one more time. Hold on, you're gonna push me off the wall. All right, that's the last clip. Now I have to go back up and put a self tapper through each clip. Put the two diagonal braces back on. And what else, what else? All right, quick update. Daryl's been moving stuff out of here. All the plow equipment is out. We did not get the salter on the truck yet. That's the last thing we have to do. And this here is 99 point something percent done. All I need is two more ratchet straps for the two back corners. I have to run to Home Depot because I don't have those here. But everything is tight, secured, perfect, minus those two ratchet straps. I'm real happy with everything. It's, it's super strong and it's gonna be really nice for us. All right, we are all done. I'm gonna push the salt back into the bin now that it's completed. Warmer in there? Yeah, it is. I walked in there. I'm like, yeah, I'm sweating. I'm ready to take my coat off. <laughs> Come on. It was. <laughs> it's the same temperature. No. Yeah. Come on. That's a nice salt bin. It is. It's beautiful. It's huge. It's big. Very big. All right, take the tailgate off. Okay. Put it inside the shed or I'll, whatever. Just lean it on something for now. We're not gonna lift it the way Daryl lifted it last year, that's for sure. Big chunks of ice in here. Now 
we need to fix these boards that Daryl broke off and then plop it on the truck. All right, what do we need? We need to fix it. We gotta take these off. These sides have to come off to get to the bolts in the back. Okay. And then these gotta come off and then we gotta cut new pieces, put new leg bolts in, and then put these back on. Okay. Junior put everything away. Lock the doors. I know. He's like, that's enough for today. You gotta go salt the sidewalks. I know. Hmm? You have to go salt the sidewalks. He's well, gonna, going. Me and Ryan are gonna fix this. All right. So We're we gonna go to dinner and you're gonna salt the sidewalks. <laughs> you want to dinner? Yeah. Yeah, and then call us when you're done and we'll come pick you up. Yeah, all right. When we're done drinking our coffee. Oh, yeah. that's so that's fine. <laughs> No. He's like, no, nah, I heard they were over. <laughs> Busy. I said, yeah. Hey, we got a bottle of that right here for the bottle there. Keep burning yourself. Don't run to do work here. After you're done, do it on five times. And then the whole will do more work, you know? Oh, that sounds like fun. Easy. Yeah. So, do, so when I get back from work and I come in here, then I can do some more work. And then put it on a flash drive and then go home and do some more work? Yeah. So about six inches like that, give or take. That's only like two inches. Something like that. More. Oh, he needs gloves on to hold a flashlight. Come on. Come on. Hold that up. Yep. Hold this flashlight, Junior, over here. This is where it's bent, where your dad dropped it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You remember that? Yeah. That All right, this side's done. We just gotta make another one for the other side. <laughs> what do you say, this is asinine? <laughs> we gotta have the salter. We need the I salt know. right now. What are we gonna salt with? Yeah. Arizona boys don't know nothing about this. Right? Nothing. No. Why do you like the other door? What? Junior, mm -hmm. why do you like the other door? Don't there a door. Okay, we'll it. I'll check it, Junior. Oh, um. Please work. Please work. Nothing. No power at all. Oh yeah, that's not good. All right, it's got to loose. Give me your flashlight. Something's loose. Yeah. 
see what goes bad on these is the on off switch right here. Working. It needs a new switch. Don't touch it, please. Don't touch it. Oh, you want to do the big strobe light? Okay. Beautiful. Now you're happy? Yeah. The vibrator is working. Yep. I just don't know if this switch is going to get us through the night. I can get a new switch for this. You can't get a Hineker switch. They don't make the switches. They make you buy an entire new box, which is very expensive. But Salt Dog, their switches are exactly the same as these. So you can pop this out. It won't connect. You got to solder it, but it fixes the problem. It happened to my last one too. Same thing. Starting to work a little bit better. Hopefully it'll get us through the night. That's all we need. Did you find my straps? <laughs> That's why I always put them right back where they were. We would have been done. Yeah, they were short. They were cut to size already. Perfect. He probably just toss them in the garbage or something. I, I remember it'll be a small. Oh, that's good. That's a good start. In this frozen bucket of water. Junior here. Junior. Junior. I'm sure this is gonna work really good. I'm sure this one's gonna work really good. Thanks, Daryl. I didn't put him in there. Who did? Marcel. Oh come on. It wasn't me. You see there was no damage and that salter works. See, no damage, this salter still works. We're not talking anymore tonight. Okay. It looks like it's been at the bottom of the ocean. It it looks might, like part of the Titanic. It might work great. All right, well, that's all the important stuff. At least we got something for tonight. Daryl said they're talking three more inches tonight, but. I can't believe that. I think we're done. I'm going to lock up. We'll clean this mess up tomorrow. Uh, just park just park the Mac. I'm going to go home and we got to lock that. I'm going to go home and eat dinner and watch the weather and then we'll go out when we need to go out. Well, we are going to have to do that. I'm not doing it right now. Though. No, we're going to do it later. I want to go eat and relax. And then I'm coming back. Good morning. It is 10 after 3 and it is time to go to work. So we had about three and a half to four inches of snow yesterday and last night. Most of it has melted. What we have left out there is basically a nuisance snow, but it still has to get dealt with. So I'm on my way now to the winter shop because we just moved all of our stuff out of storage and we put all of our shovels there. I wasn't really thinking we were gonna need them for a while, but I have to head over there, grab shovels, then come back to the yard and load up the salt truck. And then I'm gonna meet the guys over at five o'clock at the condos, which we do, that you guys haven't seen yet. So the guys are gonna shovel, I'm gonna plow the little bit of snow that there is and salt, and then probably take the guys to breakfast and then call it a day. Anyways, I'm gonna skip the garbage. Coffee shop's not open, so I'm gonna head straight to the shop. And this is basically all we have. Just spotty snow on the pavement here and there. It's just enough where you have to do something with it. All right, we're here at the shop. It is 3.30ish. these three and that is all I came here for all right I'm at the yard it's a little bit after four o'clock so I have plenty of time I'm gonna fire up the f-350 
fire up the skid loader, load it up with salt, throw the shovels on here, and then head over and meet up with the guys. I already know it's gonna start, because it always starts. Coffee and then head over. Morning, Irma. How are you? Good, how are you? Just one of those and coffee. Francisco the What's up? What are we doing? Still awake? Still mad at me? No. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why do you dress like an you Eskimo? Watch? It's like 33. Uh, he's not that close to me. Uh, I, got, watch, right? I got shovels and stuff. I'm taking you guys over by the condos. <laughs> You know? Yeah. Right there. He's on the way. Oh, okay. There's really not much to do, but I want everybody to see what I do. Okay. In case I get sick or I'm gone and I need somebody in an emergency or something to help or whatever. So it's all these, obviously this one. It's both sides of the road. So you gotta do all these. Because most of these have patio doors with a porch. We don't do those. We only shovel the walk that goes to the actual front door. All right, I'm going to jump in the skid loader and do all the condo driveways. It's a little creaky, but it works. You take this. Okay. I did all those right there already. Okay. And these two, you just gotta finish going all the way around the circle. Okay. Don't forget both sides of the street. Yeah. I'm gonna start salting these. And don't smash anything. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Go nice and slow, there's no rush.
this is the last driveway that I have to salt. We are gone. Mike's up here. Let's see what he's using. He's got some kind of loader, old school. Oh yeah. Man, Mike's, Mike's got a tank on the sidewalk. It's like a little tank. Yeah. That thing's funny, man. How old is it? Uh, 80. Yeah? 1980. What is it? What brand? Uh, Swinger. Swinger 240. Never heard of it. Uh, it's Yale now. Oh, okay. Yep. Why do you look so tired like that? Because I was working on a car last night. On a car? Yeah, on Brandon's car. All night long? No, just for a couple hours. Did like, you sleep at all? I went to bed at 10 o'clock. Oh, that's not bad. What else we got left? Oh, we got to do those four Walmarts? Yeah, right. The Sam's Club and the two Amazons. Oh, cool. <laughs> what if we did? That would be awesome. No, it would. There goes Mike again. With the behemoth. <laughs> that thing's a monster. <laughs> I love it. Did you see Michael pass? Did you see Mike go past? There he is. Look at what he uses for the sidewalks. <laughs> what? <laughs> he must be cold in there. <laughs> He's old school right going. there. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? <laughs> you got to move his mind. Man. It's little from little 1980. Little yeah. I would have got a little more forward. Imagine if I made bugs use that in the winter. Oh, <laughs> for <laughs> oh I'm not right at that, brother. For the whole for the whole parking lot. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna take forever. You'll be like mm -hmm. the next day gonna keep slow. He's like, Man. Well, I'm not going back, brother. Are you guys done? Yeah. yeah. Alright. Well, we gotta get that one house. Remember the one what? you said that everybody can get? I got it. You sure? I got it. 100%. I'll check it as we I'll go by. Alright. You coming in? Here. We're eating breakfast. breakfast. Hey, hey man. Morning, morning. morning. We well, you got your camera hat on there. Yes, yeah, sir. All right. But I never got an answer. Are you guys fighting already? Yeah, yeah. That's normal. <laughs> <laughs> so like little children are going to have to separate a few times. Are you the mediator? Usually. <laughs> Well, right in his heart. <laughs> but when are we gonna be like that with the old Imagine us. Right. Like, shut up, Eric. <laughs> All right. I, I told you that already. <laughs> well, you keep asking me. Why are you asking me? All right, we're pulling into a complete lawn and landscape. This is the same place we poured the parking lot. We have to go check it out. Yeah, we got to see if it's good. Yeah. Look at it, it's so nice. Look at the flow line. The water's coming right to the sewer. <laughs> Look at all the yeah, salt yeah. they're putting on this thing, though. They're going to kill this concrete. Man. It's so nice. I called about the plow markers. Oh, that was you? Yeah. How, where are they at? So they're right there. They're, they come the oh, the those are a hundred each. How much are they? Seventy-seven cents a piece. Okay. I'll take like four hundred. Four hundred, four boxes. Yeah, four boxes. Okay. How's the uh, how's that working out back there? The slant is it yeah, is yeah. it manageable? Yeah. It's, it's okay. Nice. All right, so, good, good. So much better. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Yeah, I poured all this concrete up here. I don't remember. Three or four years ago. And they salt it constantly. They just hammer it with salt, as you can see. And there really isn't any surface damage at all, surprisingly. There's no 
no scaling or anything like that. This whole area. All right, Francisco is gonna take the lift back. He's gonna drive it over. And I'm backing into the salt pile, gonna get rid of the excess salt. And then we're gonna get a couple things we need for putting in plow markers and go do that. All right, Eric and Francisco are gonna put all the plow markers. Right? Yes, yes sir. we are. All right, adios. 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 All right, I'm gonna end this video right here. And I don't know when it'll be, but I'll see you guys on the next one. Adios.